Okie dokie. Let's read our description of this new fixed needle. An intricately crafted needle made of unalloyed gold. Once snapped in half, it has been repaired by the Sage Gowry. Uh, it appears to be the same as in that. Oh, no, not quite. A ritual implement crafted to ward away the meddling of outer gods. It is thought capable of forestalling the incurable rotting sickness. Now all you need to do is deliver the needle to Millicent, convalescing in the church atop the cliff just beyond Celia. Look at that. That's like the closest I think a Dark Souls game has ever had to having like a quest log. Um, Alright, best way to get there, uh, unfortunately, is through this stupid town. That, I love how that is so obviously his fucking dog. It has a collar. It's guarding his house, right? It's a funny thing to do, isn't it? I think my last safe spot is actually at the church that I'm trying to head to, so the fastest way to get there would be to die. I like how those rocks kind of do change direction for a little bit. Where's this damned cave, huh? This is not the graveyard beyond. It's got bones in it, it's behind Celia. It's at a cliff top, you know? If you are wise, you will leave immediately. My flesh writhes with scarlet rot. What makes you think I'm not a worshipper? You ask that I stab myself with the needle to quell the scarlet rot. I mean... But how? I don't know. <laughs> Never mind. I've decided I would rather trust you than simply continue to spoil from within. Would you mind... Averting your eyes for a moment. <sighs> well, that was easier than expected. But, but why do I feel so? She fucking dying? Old man. You a villain, old man. Was I a fool to trust him? The description itself said that he cures like Scarlet Rod. So even if I don't trust the guy, I should trust the item description. It shouldn't be too bad of a thing to do, right? Mm, I'm worried. I may have been trusting him too blindly. Oh, I forgot that I could... Yeah, let's just do this. It's a lot better than running through the whole thing. I feel like... What have 
you done, old man. Thank you kindly for giving the needle to Millicent. Have I killed her? Now she too can begin her journey. Uh oh. And stare her fate straight in the eye. She's gonna fucking die. You've been a saint through and through. As thanks, I vow to impart to you my knowledge of the lost sorceries of the Senians, descendants of the Eternals. I already have all of these. Well, not quite, I guess. Semi-invisible projectile the sorcerer can be used without delay after performing another action. It releases a life-sapping silver mist for the caster, dealing damage to all caught within, including the caster. This sorcery can be cast while in motion. Below Celia, the eternal city of Nokron sleeps. Oh. This sorcery originates from the maiden of that place. That reminds me. It's like, you will be rewarded handsomely, and the handsome reward is that I will open my shop to you, and you must pay me money. Gotcha. Um... Given by Sage Gowry detailing the secret he promised, the town of Sally hides the source. Light three flames atop the candle towers to break the seal. But I did that. Hides the source, does it? I just what a dumb secret. It's like there's three candle towers. Like, no duh, I'm gonna light them. The useful thing would be tell me how to how like what exactly they unlock. Please make certain that little Millicent goes unharmed. Like her mother, she has the stuff to be a great warrior. Nope, she's but nice. commands only one arm and is yet preciously young. Like one weapon or she has only one arm? I haven't noticed that. Night Maiden's Mist. Well, there's definitely a secret to Celia, but that tip did not help me understand it at all. Um, I probably do have enough to give myself 4,000. Yeah, almost certainly. 4,000 is just 20 of these, which I have. Do you need me for something else? do this since we have to rest before we can hope to have something happen to her maybe see if something happens to her if it doesn't then we're gonna have to do more things I guess before we find something happening to her I really feel like she's gonna die though dude I hoped to see you again my apologies for when last we met, I fainted before I could even thank you. Her hair's up. Everything is as you said. Since inserting the needle, the scarlet rot has ceased to rise. Thank God. Even the nightmares have abated. And now, though I can scarcely believe it myself, she I can does move have as I please. Not that I could ever truly repay you, but I would like you to have this. Is it I your really dress? Thanks. I want your clothes. A token, though it is. Prosthesis wearer heirloom. Where's your prosthesis? I'm considering leaving. On a journey. With the needle buried in my flesh, I've started to recall... It's still in there? But dimly, my destiny. It's all thanks to you. My name is Millicent. I pray fate permits us meet again. I'm considering leaving. With the needle buried in my flesh, I've started to recall, but dimly. Okay, hold on. I gotta pause and check something real quick. Thanks, sorry. I just uh, had to check something. Okay, I'm back. Oh, man, I still want there to be stuff up there, but... Chances seem slim. Yeah. 
If only I could double jump as a person, all of this would be better. I wonder if there's something that it would allow me to do that. But, but the, why would that be there if I wasn't able to use it, you know, to climb up here? Come on. Screw you. No clear indication of where she's going, but she's she's cured. She's actually cured. The guy wasn't lying. I got a terrible feeling this is gonna go all Dark Souls on me. Um, all right, secret of Celia. There must be something I still haven't found. I mean, there's definitely something I haven't found. I mean, there's definitely plenty of things I haven't found. It hides the source. I definitely haven't seen anything that seems like it's hiding a source, have I? Hey, that guy's spirit is flying. They killed somebody. Maybe now that I have the note? Will something be different now that I have the note? Um, because my understanding was very clearly that lighting those three things was making those doors disappear, of which it seemed there was three, one for each thing I lit. But two of those led to just treasure chests, which are not very secrety. And one of them led to a boss. And the boss's name had Nox in it. And not only that, but the, um, the thing I'm supposedly trying to find is called the Night Maiden. Which is Nox. Much to my dismay, even though there was a door after I defeated the boss, what did it do? It just led to this. I don't even freaking remember what was in here. Who's that stomping? Does that stomping mean that there's something I'm missing? They've hidden a secret, they've hidden it damn well. Oh, wait a second. That looks... door-like. Can I get up there? Hold on, let me just... I can see that from above somehow. That would be cool. That's a lot higher. Be up there. I may be following a wild goose chase around this, but... It's 
probably already where my save point was, but no harm checking. Probably just to be on the safe side, I should unequip this and re-equip. Nope, this. Oops. They do let you get up here. Boy, bang. Cruel. Oh, wow, I survived. Take a look. Don't think there's anything on this little platform of interest, but what I want to do is I want to get over there. Can I? Well, that didn't work out. Uh, doesn't feel super doable, I'll be honest. Didn't work. Miraculously still alive. I'm gonna do that about once more before my horse dies. to go. Oh, because it's fucking horse platforming. Of course it's not. Fucking hate horse platforming. Is that a jump I can make? Possibly is what I'm even trying to figure out. I'm not even sure it is. Oh yeah, it is. Oh, fuck me, no. Oh, fuck no. Oh my fucking god, no. No, 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 no. Damn it. Kidding me? Ugh. All right, double jump and then stop. I wonder where my stuff will be. I'd rather do this without fighting them again. Ah, oh, it is up there. Just lying there is... Un oh, fuck. Where? Where are you? Why is your range so like that? 
so much. Just give me a moment, you know. Unfortunately, don't know that this actually helps me. I'm actually above what I want to be at, but I don't know that there's a way up there. At least I have a bit of a vantage point. Is there a way? I'm just gonna pop here so I can see. So that's the arena. That looks like a throne, but it also does kind of look like a door. I kind of feel like it's not a door, or like there'd be something there if I could use it as a door. Whether there would be an elevator. It really doesn't look like there's any good way down. <sighs> or up, but there was a branch extending that way. But it extends from something on the other side of this. So this was a wild goose chase. Um, well, I guess at least now we know. Come here. there. There's no way I'll be able to survive that fall. But here, though. Is this... Oh, where is this? Okay, I thought that was more behind the cliff, but it's right in front of me. Um, uh, 20 minutes left of playing left. Um, where is this freaking cave? Like, how is this not the graveyard behind Celia? Top the cliff, right? Like this is everything matches here. Everything matches the description. It's all good. Rude. Very rude. guys so that I can maybe look around a little bit cuz like it could just be here guys down there. I mean, I guess something that I haven't really done is actually carefully explore Celia, because I was always under so much attack. I might be strong enough to deal with it now. Maybe with the help of my um, Servant of Rot. Hmm? There's really no way I can get over to those. It sucks. It's a whole lot of architecture that's out of my access. Really? Sorcerers? How's that? How's that? How do you like that? How do you like them apples? Oh boy, that's bad. 
Well, I shouldn't have fought you guys. That was my mistake. I want whatever that guy's wearing. Skelly Sorcerer clothes are awesome. Mm, where's that damned cave? Oh, I really kind of hate to be back at this because last time I did this, I deleted a whole video and a whole hour of footage just looking for that damned cave. And the result of that is that I, I know a whole lot of places where it's not, I would think. But then again, it's like, yeah, because I'm not really willing to kill all these skeletons, there's a possibility that there's just some corner around here that hides something that I've missed because I was running through skellies too much. But the reason I didn't feel like killing all the skeletons wasn't just because it's annoying, is because they're kind of like all in places that um, didn't really feel secrety. Like, they were kind of out in the open-ish. But it could be a cave that's in the... I mean, it says hidden cave. It does suggest a hidden wall of some kind, doesn't it? If I see anything that looks like a hidden wall, of course I will defeat all the skeletons and deal with it, you know? But, like, oh, I bet. I don't. I just don't, and I've just been through this area so many freaking times. Running in circles, avoiding the baddies. And, of course, there is this spot over here that points to a roots, but how is that a hidden cave? I mean, other than the fact that I can't fucking find it. They're never that far, either. This drives me crazy. Look at him. Just pointing right... Where? Where are you pointing? Where are you pointing? There's nothing over there. There's no way to get down to this goddamn beach. There's no way to get over there. Other than to drop down where the blue giant guy is. And it, it, I mean, that just seems like a dead end and a half. I have actually stabbed at the walls around here a little bit. But nowhere particularly looked like a hidden wall, and I was stabbing with slashing damage, so it probably wouldn't have done anything, according to my theory. But, like, what freaking gives? As soon as I jump on that, it does not feel like I'm in Celia anymore. And, like, this is where skeletons spawn. Is there a hidden wall here? No. There's not, because there's no walls. Why did you die right away? Because I, you weren't expecting me? Hi. Oh, I'm doing this again. What is this? Trying to find the fucking supposed hidden secret stuff. Oh man. Can you Ah die? The hidden secret um There's a supposed secret hidden cave in the graveyard atop the mount behind Celia. Or in Celia, which I guess this could be considered in Celia. Anyways, behind Celia there's a place filled with skeletons and gravestones on a mountain. So, seems pretty good. you think that'd be it, right? Oh my god. What the hell? Where'd you come from? Holy shit. But I've been around here. This was, remember that time that I had like an hour of footage that I deleted because I was so frustrated? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was here trying to do that. So I'm back here again. Regretting it. Excuse me. I hate these goddamn skeletons. They're not hiding anything. There's no hidden walls here because there are no walls. Right. So, like, you know? 
Where is this goddamn hidden cave? It's driving me insane. How did you find out about it? Because I have a note from a merchant. Mm. There's also one of those statues that points to a roots catacomb. I kind of doubt that they they double up on rules, so I feel like those are two different caves. But it is here. It's worth checking out. Well, unfortunately, it points out into the middle of the air. Oh. Off a cliff. Into an area that I can't access. Have you so followed hard. any of those statues and they actually led you to... All of them except for this one. All of them except for this one, which is why I know that they're always close by. But what do you mean close by? It leads off of a cliff onto an inaccessible area, and I swear to god that area is inaccessible. I... Ah! Fuck you. I was not touching that. That like barely clicked you. So this is getting frustrating again. <sighs> um, my timer says 13 minutes, but if you want me to stop now so we can do that stuff, that is fine. Oh no, I just came in to check on you. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um... Well, thanks for checking on me. You can hang out if you want to. Okay. Although, I'm only going to play this for another 13 minutes. I'm only going to play this for another 13 minutes, and then I'm going to get up and do yard stuff and library walk and all that. Zero. I lost like 3,000 on that. Who cares? 3,000 is nothing. I really want it to be here. This is where I want it to be. But I've already checked this, so there's no point in doing it now. There's no point in killing any of those skellies. Other than to get them off my freaking case. Like, I guess that could be a hidden door. to be, he doesn't seem to notice me. Seems unlikely. Oh! I don't value my own life anymore. Anyway. Probably like... If I had just rested here, by the way, I wouldn't have lost those souls just now, because I wouldn't have died to the rock. Sorry, I keep saying souls. Oh, she's gone. Leave anything for me? I wonder if she's in the round table hold. I feel like there is something I need to do with the round table hold, but I resent. I'm, I'm resentful right now. I don't really want to return there until after I find the somber smithing stone three. This would be another great location for a hidden wall. You don't have to fight all the skellies to get to it. There's actually walls.
just trying to show me where I could attack it. Attack it? That was weird. I mean, yeah, like the way to find something in a FromSoft game that you haven't found yet, you know it's there. Is to go to the area where you know it must be and just do the things you haven't done. So that's what I'm doing here. Killing the land octopuses, haven't done that. I and mean, technically, okay, yeah, I haven't killed all the skeletons, but fuck me, I don't want to. Fuck me, I don't want to. So please let me just switch weapons real quick. I should probably have both of these equipped. I feel like I'm so high level at this point, but I guess I just haven't been leveling up HP, so I'm asking for it. But it's like, you know, I kind of tell myself, like, well, one day you'll be able to come back here and you won't um, have to worry so much because you'll be able to kill all the skellies in one hit and it'll be real easy, man. Mm -hmm. Well, maybe. What the hell? So much tougher than all the other ones. Oh man, lost the ability. Okay, no, I didn't kill him. Thank you. Hard to get a backstop on those. Pointing that way. Oh boy. Oh my god. How about not? Can you kill the cliff? Oh boy. No weapon. I can get up there. Hello? I hate this horse so much. I don't even know. Oh my god, stop. Just stop moving. I mean, how precise is it? 
Because that really looks like it leads to, like, the fucking middle of nowhere. Or my way, of course. Damn it, damn it, damn it, I hate this. God, I just so hate this. What are you talking about? There's no freaking cave over there. You're lying. You are lying to me. This drives me insane. This, this section drives me insane. This little fucking cliff top bullshit. Uh, it's just some sort of crazy pope bat over one of these, I think. Can't jump to that. There would be no point in doing so anyways. Can't fall down there and survive. I wish there was a way down there. If there was a way down there, I would feel so much more interested in the game. I mean... Maybe, but I don't think so. I think one of those drops is death. There are more branches over there, though, so maybe it's worth checking? It's kind of weird, right? That is kind of weird. Guys, his diagro ranges. Well, there's something up there. This could get bad. I don't think I have my poison stuff equipped. Maybe I can get it equipped now. Um, oh, no. I'm gonna kill this guy first. Time is up, but they seem to have de-aggroed, so hopefully I can just go and grab this and then pick up next time. Like, at least something happened. I found a golden rune. Super boring. Okay, that does look super get down toable, though. That really does. But this. It's hard to judge distance. Maybe not there. Because where would I jump down to exactly? You know? Like, where would I jump down to? Here? Is that death? That super might not be. Okay, either we end the episode with death, or we say, I got down here, and we'll continue to explore for next time. Fuck you. Why did you turn around the here? Bye.